ओके सो दी ऑक्सीजन ओएस फिफ्टीन वेट इज ओवर वन प्लस हैव स्टार्टेड रोलिंग आउट ऑक्सीजन ओएस फिफ्टीन ओपन बीटा बिल्ड फॉर वन प्लस ट्वेल्व एंड ट्वेल्व आर एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल्ड एंड्रॉइड फिफ्टीन ऑन अ वन प्लस स्मार्टफोन एंड दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट एवरी चेंज वॉट वन प्लस हैव डन बट गाइज बिफोर मूविंग हेड वी रिसेंटली सॉ दट नॉट सब्सक्राइब यूजर्स हैव इंक्रीज ऑन अ चैनल विच हैव गॉन अप टू एटी फोर पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट एंड वी ओनली हैव फिफ्टीन पॉइंट वन परसेंट पीपल हु हैव सब्सक्राइब अ चैनल एंड दे डू वॉच अ वीडियोज सो इफ यू गाइज फाइंड अ कॉन्टेंट यूजफुल टू यू गाइज दैन मेक श्योर टू स्मैश द लाइक बटन एंड ऑल्सो कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू अर चैनल सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ऑल दी चेंजेस सो हियर आई हैव माई वन प्लस ट्वेल्व आर एंड टूवर्ड्स राइट एंड साइड आई हैव माई वन प्लस ट्वेल्व आई एम नॉट अपडेटेड दन प्लस ट्वेल्व येट बट आई हैव अपडेटेड वन प्लस ट्वेल्व आर इफ आई गो टू अबाउट सेक्शन here you can see this is my OnePlus 12R and which is running on Oxygen OS 15 based on Android 15 the entire layout of about section have been completely revamped and this latest build comes with 5th October 2024 security patch also guys in the launch event of Oxygen OS 15 OnePlus did claim they'll reduce the system space on Oxygen OS 15 starting from OnePlus 12 But on OnePlus 12R also, you can see now the system size is 7.79 GB. I'll show you a screenshot of the previous build, wherein you can see the system size was 20.3 GB. So almost 13 GB of storage have been reduced from the system. With so many new features and the amount of work they have done on animation, it's really appreciated that they have reduced the system size to almost 13 GB on OnePlus 12R. I'll keep you guys posted about OnePlus 12 also. As I told you guys, I still haven't updated. And now let me show you the change logs of this latest build. So here you can see I received the update on my OnePlus 12R the update size was 3.60 GB. So if you guys want to participate I'll tell you guys how to participate in beta program and we have a huge list of change logs related to animation, brand new design, fine detail and enhancement, completely revamped notification panel. You have also got OnePlus share and at last they have also mentioned few change logs. And if you guys want to participate you can just go to the software update section tap on these three dots and tap on beta program. Under release candidate you should see the update and if you don't see release candidate you can download the apk provided in the description below after that you'll be able to directly download beta version of oxygen os 15 so one of the major thing what oneplus have focused on oxygen os 15 and that's led to the animation engine after this update oneplus 12r feel exceptionally smooth with the new graphic engine it boosts animation speed and stability ensuring switching between applications or multitasking remains fluid even under heavy usage this update extends consistent swipe and scroll behavior across all the applications it doesn't matter if they are third party applications for a unified experience additionally smoother animation now covers more system elements like widgets folders and components create a seamless flow as you navigate the interface in short oneplus have nailed in terms of animation it's hard to explain through a video but you'll understand soon you install oxygen os 15 on your device soon you complete the installation you will be welcome with this hello pop up followed by this highlights which includes flux thing and you'll also have the option to enable or disable during the initial setup itself once done you are all set so first let's talk about the lock screen which includes this flux theme so this is how one of the flux theme looks on oneplus 12r i would say it's slightly jittery sometimes but with the upcoming updates these things will be fixed now let me talk about the customization option you get to see on the lock screen on the lock screen we don't get any option to directly enter the customization options so you have to go to the wallpaper and style section from here you can access flux theme so there are some presets which they have already given which also includes the depth effect so for example let's select this and now from here you can make changes in the clock styles and the text present here so we cannot edit the text what is present we do have some presets including cute brilliant keep moving game on fast so in total there are five presets but you have an option to change the color there are some color palettes given and also you can adjust the color intensity as per your requirement and the same thing goes with the clock we do have some pre installed fonts available then additionally you can also add things like weather and step counter directly on the lock screen and again the same stuff color palettes are present towards the bottom side and here if you see on the main page of the lock screen we do have some options to make changes in the depth effect for the styling also we do have some patterns available according to your requirement you can set any of these and you can also adjust the blur intensity so this is what you'll find it in the styles and you also have the option to set the custom wallpapers like for example if you want to have your wallpaper that can also be done swiping towards the right hand side you can also customize the home screen where you have option to match the lock screen wallpaper but that can be done if you just want the color wallpaper you can say the solid color wallpaper that can also be done we have many color options layer to solid and gradient so this is how the new lock screen looks on OnePlus 12 series running Oxygen OS 15 it looks pretty cool the animations are smooth but sometimes you might notice slight jitters while unlocking or you know while pressing the power button and OnePlus have also added these new wallpapers called sleek along with that some aerial view 
I did not see those aerial views and this sleek option on my OnePlus 12. I'm not sure whether they were already present or not. And then we have four light and shadow wallpapers too. So that was the change what they have done on the lock screen. Now talking about the home screen changes, so now we have two new icon packs. One of them is this radiance and the second one is shadow. So I've applied the radiance. This is how the icons look. And after that, if I apply the shadow one, this gives kind of dark background for the applications. And guys, minor changes will be comparing in upcoming videos. Today, we are only talking about the features what they have added. And now talking about the changes what they have done in the quick setting tiles. So quick setting tiles completely got revamped. Now you can see we have circular quick setting tiles instead of these slightly rounded corners. Also for the quick setting, they have given two options. One is this classic one, which we used to have before. Like you can just drag on the screen to get the notification, but there's different one, which is called split. So here, if you pull down from the right hand side, you can see a nice bouncy effect, which pull down the notification panel. And here also you can see a completely revamped quick setting tiles. The entire layout have been revamped. And if you swipe from the left hand side, you pull down the notification. One thing which I did not like that you cannot resize the quick setting tiles. So if you tap on this edit icon, we don't have an option to resize the quick setting tiles what we have seen on iOS 18 and nothing OS 3.0. I hope they do give an option to resize the quick setting tiles in the upcoming updates. You guys let us know, did you guys like the new quick setting tiles on Oxygen OS 15 or not? Along with that, the volume slider also got revamped. So for example, if you tap once, you'll see the basic volume slider. If you tap again, the volume slider squeezes and you only get to see a single line. And this looks very neat compared to the previous one. Other than that, if you tap on these three dots, we have the similar layout. Also, one of the major requests was layer to calculator application, wherein we used to see that one plus Easter egg whenever we used to type one plus equals. And the same thing have been added on Oxygen OS 15. So now whenever you tap one plus equals, you get to see never settle. How many of you guys feel that this latest version of Oxygen OS 15 gives a vibe of OG Oxygen OS? Let us know in the comment section below. And now this live alert capsule also got support of multiple applications. So right now you can see there are two applications running in the background. So if I tap on this capsule, you can see it shows both the applications. Accordingly, I can choose any one of them. And if I swipe back and tap again, both the application pops up. Previously, we only had the support of one application. You can dismiss this pill either by swiping towards the right hand side or by swiping towards the left hand side. In the changelogs, OnePlus have mentioned that they have added the live photo option on Oxygen OS 15. But on this device, many features are missing including AI features and live photos option is also not present. But that's present on OnePlus 12 running Oxygen OS 15. I'll talk about the AI features in a different video in which they have added the AI features on OnePlus 12 because that's running closed beta build. I think on open beta build, even this device won't get the AI features right now. I'll cover all the AI features what OnePlus is adding on Oxygen OS 15 by tomorrow. Some AI features are also related to editing. Those features are also still not present on OnePlus 12 bar. So I'll do a dedicated video comparing the AI features which are rolled out on OnePlus 12. One thing what OnePlus have added and that's the ability to find the device even if your device is powered off. So whenever you press the power button, you'll get this pop-up that you can locate the phone with find my device even when powered off. So again, a very important feature what OnePlus users were missing. Smart sidebar also got some upgrades soon you open for the first time you'll see this pop-up which says welcome to smart sidebar which includes things like file doc recents file and smart functions tapping on get started it's kind of similar stuff you can open the application in the pop-up view from here and you have a new option to choose the behavior of floating bar one is do not hide and auto hide the resize option was already present they have also introduced a new feature for the notification so whenever you get any notification for the first time you'll see a pop-up swipe down to open the notification in a floating windows and this feature was recently added on nothing os 3.0 both of them do have the similar functionalities. Here you can see how does it work. And here we have the OnePlus Share feature. Has the capability to share the files directly with the iPhone. So towards the bottom side, we have an option share with iPhone. If you turn it on, you can easily share files between OnePlus and iPhones. Again, a very important feature which most of the users were waiting for. Related to privacy, they have also done some changes in the private safe. It's now more advanced and you have everything properly categorized like image and videos, audios, document, other files. Like Google's Android 15, we cannot combine this split screen application and place it on the home screen. I was expecting this feature on Oxygen OS 15. And now let's go through the settings and see the visual changes. So soon you enter, you can see a completely revamped settings page. Let me just compare it with the previous one. So this is how the previous settings page used to look. And you guys let us know, according to you, Oxygen OS 14 had better settings page or Oxygen OS 15. I personally feel Oxygen OS 15 has a better settings page with these more rounded corners. And you also get to see these colorful icons, which again gives a vibe of OG Oxygen OS. We'll not compare much of visual changes 
as i told you guys we'll have a dedicated video for that now let's go to the customization section so we initially just covered the fuchs theme now if i talk about other things like always on display we do have the option if you guys like the previous one which was classic you can choose that or if you want this seamless one which includes this depth effect and other stuff that can also be selected from here in terms of other always on display i did not see any new add-ons here one new fingerprint animation have been added which is called hello so this is how it looks whenever you unlock the device you can see the animation on the screen in the battery section we got some usual changes and under charging we also have the charging limit feature they have mentioned this in the change logs but i think it was already present so guys these are the new features what we have discovered till now we'll talk about every visual change in upcoming videos and if you guys have any kind of questions meanwhile you can drop them in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video